I'm Sean McVay, and no, he's not overhyped. I'm from Compton, from the mud. This dude landed in worse situation than I did. He went to an organization that for the last 13 years never had a winning season. Think about it. Think about it. I'm from Compton. 13 consecutive non-winning seasons. And then Sean McVay says, um, let me get a piece of that. Let me rise from the ashes. Let me get from Compton to where I am now, from hood to good, and turn that franchise around immediately. Think about it. If he just this hype. I will jump on board. I'm from Compton. But can we just wait for him to win a playoff game? I love Sean McVay. Think about it. Wally. Eric. Darth Vader Dickerson. <laughs> the Rambassador. Get it right. The Rambassador. Rambassador. And D'Angelo Ram Hall are back. <laughs> Time for a big story. Let's move to Kansas City where the Chiefs host the Colts in a divisional round matchup Saturday. Patrick Mahomes led Kansas City to the AFC's best record this year, but earning home field advantage might actually be, it might not be a good thing for the Chiefs who have lost an NFL record six straight playoff home games. Their postseason struggles haven't improved under Andy Reid, who's been there for a couple of those crushing home losses. Reid was also at the helm a few years ago when the Chiefs blew a 28-point lead to this weekend's opponent, the Colts. Uh, listen, I, I've been with the Kansas City Chiefs since 1994. That's when I arrived there, and I've seen these home playoff loss disasters. And I know basically the formula. Mm. Bad defense generally has been the formula. Early on when Derek Thomas and Neil Smith were there, with, you know, some bad luck. But later when Dick Vermeil and some of these, it, it's bad defense. And the Chiefs have a bad defense. And they're playing the absolute wrong team and the wrong quarterback. Coach of the hottest team in football. Their offensive line gives Andrew Luck way too much protection. I watched them shut. I watched them shut down Jadavian Clowney and J.J. Watt. They're going to shut down Chris Jones, D. Ford, and Justin Houston. This is a recipe for disaster. The Chiefs are going to lose again at home. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think they win, and I think it may get ugly. Uh, think about what those elements are. Um, you talk about the defense of the Chiefs being porous. Yes, it's a bad defense overall in ranking, but they're the best at one thing, getting after that quarterback. Lead, lead in sacks, 52. And the number one team in the NFL at getting to your quarterback in standard pass rushing. Four men only, no blitzing. They get there 41 times. So if you look at the Chiefs, they're like, yeah, we're bad back there, but you might not have enough time to even get to that place. And then you talk about Andrew Luck, who's had his struggles outdoors in the postseason. He's one in three outdoors. The numbers drop. And obviously, now take him to these elements, Arrowhead Stadium with the noise, Arrowhead Stadium with the cold. He's used to the indoor facility. That may be an issue with a guy who's still rehabbing that shoulder, and we haven't seen him drive the football the same as he has in the past. You add all that up, and it's unfair to put tradition and history onto present players. Because Patrick Mahomes is like, all right, whatever Trent Green went through and whatever those other quarterbacks went through is not me. So different team, different complexion, and a pass rushing force up front, I think that's the recipe for disaster for the Colts. Yeah, I'm going to piggyback on what you were saying. Um, Patrick Mahomes is different. Andy Reid has not had an MVP quarterback um, under center for him going into these games. He's had a game manager. He's had a game manager who at some point – has had really big leads. You think the 18-point lead in 2017, um, the 28-point lead in 2013. You know, a lot of teams when they when they're up, they want to take the take their foot off the uh, off the gas. Yeah. This this Chiefs team don't have no let up, no let up. You mess around like you said, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. This Chiefs team could put 40 up very easily on this Colts defense. And give up 40. At the same time, they could give up 40. But you, you've been a part of some good defenses. You've been a part of some bad defenses. I have too. When everything is, is, is on the line to play for with, dudes know that. It's like in the NBA. They never play defense until hmm. the postseason, hmm. until it's time. Nobody moves their feet. It's just, yeah, I mean, you, you, you're looking at the game and you're like, man, I could guard him because no one really wants to. They don't care. There's a lot of games. It's tough on your body, and, and, you know, in football. And so when I look at this Chiefs defense, like you said, they rush the passer, and all it takes is one guy rushing the passer, Andrew Luck just throwing it up there. They got, a, they got a capable secondary of making plays, and I've seen these guys make plays. 
yes, they don't consistently do it enough, but Man, I see Andy Reid getting this win, getting the monkey off his back. This is a different group in uh, Kansas City, and Patrick Mahomes is a different beast. For clarity, you were saying game manager as a Chiefs coach, right? You weren't talking about McNabb. No, no, he's no, talking no, about no, no, Alex. No, no. I was talking about Alex yeah, okay. for those Ooh. years. I was about to say, not McNabb for those years. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 You nope. agree with me. I agree with you. Thank you. I agree with Thank you. you. One man. thing is, you, you, you're getting a team you're at the right time. You're occasionally smart. Thank, the, <laughs> I, 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 I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one thing is... <laughs> Y'all done? <laughs> Y'all done? Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, 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 I'll say this much. Here. One thing, you, you're catching a team that's hot at the right time. As well as all of us know, in the playoffs, it's, it's time to get hot. Now, the Chiefs want to play good defense. They can't play good defense because they don't have a good defense. They have good defensive guys up front, but the secondary suffers. When you talk about getting to uh, Andrew Luck? Yeah. 18 sacks all year. That, that's a great point that's right the there. Matchup. If you can't get to the quarterback, you can't sack him. One thing I like about the coach, the coach have a balanced attack. Losing Kareem Hunt. I see that. Losing Kareem Hunt to me changed the whole dynamics of this football team. If he was on that football team, no matter how bad they play on offense, on, on defense, I say, man, they got a chance, but they have a chance to win. They blew a, they, they blew a lead. Uh, who they play? They blew a lead against... Um, the the uh oh, this the Chiefs? Yeah, the Chiefs. The, the, Chargers. Uh, the Chargers, right? The, oh, yeah. The, Char- yeah, you the Chargers beat the right, right. The Chargers. That's what we do. Right. In, in, in the last minute, <laughs> let the Chargers beat them. The, the Rams can't. I mean, it was that was back and forth. Yeah. But right. when you put up 51 points, you're supposed to win the football game. You're not supposed to give up 54. Every so game, I've got to say the Colts will win this football game. D'Angelo, Bob Sutton is a problem <clears throat> to me, for me. <clears throat> Chiefs defensive coordinator. Yeah. They they're not very diverse. Yeah, they're kind and, of vanilla. Very vanilla. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about Andrew Luck, mm-hmm. who's going to get pass protection, and then you're going to give him the same look in the secondary, play after play after play. That's what Phillip Rivers ate up. Andrew Luck is in his prime. This will be the problem. And whether it's going to be cold, it's going to be a, a lower scoring game. Andrew Luck will make the plays down the stretch because he's going to get protection, and he's going to get a vanilla look in the secondary, and he's going to eat it up. I mean, I... I, you know, I I'm a defensive guy, but when it comes to the National Football League and how to win football games, to me, it's still offensively a dominant type of league. Anytime I can touch you like this and get you a first down and I got you third and 30, it's it's just an offensive league. The, 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 The rules are so geared toward offense. I'm going with the better offense and the more firepower on offense. And all you need is one stop, one out of Listen, whatever. Listen, I'm going to tell you, game. you're a thousand percent of right about the NFL during the regular season. They referee different in the postseason. A lot of that ticky tack stuff yeah. that they call right. in the secondary, yeah. they back right. off. They, they are play. instructed: let these players win this game, let yeah. the players decide this game. Mm-hmm. And so, if the, I'm just, it will be defense will matter. It mattered all last week. Yeah. And it's going to matter again this week. But of all the teams that had a bye, not one of them had a top 10 defense. So you, it's to your point of regular season regular officiating. Season, yeah. But the best teams in our league are offensive-minded. And the Colts have a great offense and a very good defense. However, they're playing an insane offense that may override the issues that they an have. An insane offense that won't have the right kind of weather to be insane. I, 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 I've, I've just seen it. I've sat in that stadium and and So you're shed going tears. Cowboys and Colts so far this week. Yeah, I'm going Cowboys and Colts. Ooh, no I question. Wait to see I'm him. gonna be tequila up in Cowboys and Colts. <laughs> he got one of them right. <laughs> right coming up. Yeah. Some people think Tom Brady has lost a step. Will the 41 year old quarterback be able to turn back the clock for the playoffs? We get into that. Hey! 